Hey again everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. As I promised a few days ago on the channel, I was going to talk about AdMob and how to increase revenue in AdMob. So hopefully you can hear this video okay, there's a little bit of background noise. Um, let me know if anything is unclear in the comments and I can explain a little bit more. So what I was finding with AdMob was that uh, some of our click-through rate and some of our revenue on some of the games was extremely low compared to some other games that had, say, different types of ads. So I tested this out a little bit and I found that the type of ads that you show really do affect the, uh, the revenue that you generate and the click-through rate as well. So this video will explain how this, this isn't coding, this is just talking about really what type of ads to show. So um, pretty much anybody who has AdMob should be able to, to do this or if you've integrated AdMob before. So let me go down my points here, guys. So as I mentioned, um, yeah, so depending on the ads, I found that the smart banner ads were not making as much revenue. Um, I'm just going to pop up some code in a moment and explain that. I'll make sure I've got my sheet here. Smart banner ads, and I'm going to try and open one right now whilst, whilst we're actually talking, whilst I'm talking. Uh, smart banner, banner ads, they appear uh, full, full size across the screen, no matter what the screen size. And I'll try to show you one right now whilst, whilst we're chatting. Uh, sorry, I didn't prepare this video very well. Uh, but for example, uh, in this game, it should appear in a second. Okay, hopefully you can see here, this at the bottom here, and I mentioned this in another video, is a smart banner ad, okay? It appears, it appears all the way across the bottom of the screen. Um, and because, it, because it's a smart banner and it's called smart banner and it adjusts the size. The problem is that on smart banners, and I read on the AdMob site, is that smart banners do not show image ads for a lot of devices, including Kindle. That means probably that, that people are less likely to tap on the ad, therefore the click-through rate is lower, therefore you make less revenue. So what, we, what I tried to do was just show different types of ads instead, okay? And I'll explain those ads in a moment. But um, I want to just make sure I'm sticking to my list here and I'm not going on and on too much. Uh, so possibly because the image ads, yeah. Um, so it improved my own game's revenue for sure. And I did this on a bunch of games. So I tested it on one game, checked the revenue, and then I did it on a bunch of other games. And what I did is I also increased one of our development partner revenues uh, by around eight times. And because the click-through rate was extremely low, and literally then we made eight times as much money because we published games from other developers as well. So just as an example, I'm going to pull up some revenue shots here. So this is, uh, this is one of my games here for, through the AdMob uh, portal. Uh, the revenue was here. It increased uh, sort of smoothly at that point, but check out the click-through rate. This was back in August, and there we go. This jump here was just because of using a different type of ad as opposed to the smart banner ad. So I stopped using smart banner ads and I used a different ad. And I wasn't doing anything, you know, um, dodgy or wrong or anything. I just changed the type of ad. Uh, it wasn't all over the screen and it wasn't getting missed clicks or anything. Um, and I jumped up from, you know, roughly below 1% up to 2% uh, roughly. Uh, the requests on this particular game were going down, but the revenue was actually going up because of that increased click-through rate. And if I check the ECPM, yeah, there you go as well. The ECPM was higher. On another game, and I think this one was on Kindle, and there you go. So the revenue jumped, uh, and this isn't big revenue, guys. You know, uh, we're small developers. We have a lot of games, uh, and these are my games. These are my self-developed, self-published games. Uh, but the revenue jumped from like a dollar up to, you know, uh, let's say roughly six on average, uh, which was a huge jump for that game. And I think this one was on Amazon, so mainly played on Kindle devices. Uh, and on the Kindle devices, there was never any image ads unless the player had the Amazon App Store installed on a, a smaller device like this one here. So uh, a huge increase there. Even the, the requests, the number of requests were going down, but the revenue still went up. And click-through rate, yeah, big jump again. And the requests, uh, we said that already, eCPM jumped up as well. So what did I do? Basically, I showed the 320 by 50 ads or the 468 by 60 ads, or the 728 by 90 ads. I did not show smart banner ads, and now I'm telling all of our development partners to stop showing smart banner ads, like the one that I just showed you on the Kindle, okay? Um, what I do is I show on a small device, if it's, if it's portrait, this is 800 by 480. I will show a 320 by 50 ad here, okay? 
that's a standard AdMob uh, size banner that anybody can access in code. For portrait on, like I say, a 7 inch Kindle, I'll show a 468 by 60, which is around this size here. And if it's an iPad, and I don't have my iPad here, then if it's portrait, I will show the full 728 by 90, okay, because that fits in. So, and that instantly increased the revenue for all of our games and then a bunch of our development partner games as well because I advise them all to do this, okay. On landscape, uh, what I do on this one is, uh, this is again 480 by 800. I show a 320 by 50 ad banner there. On the Kindle 7 inch, I will show a 468 by 60 banner, which goes to about this size. Um, sometimes on a Kindle, I might show the 728 by 90 if it doesn't distract the game too much. Uh, but my point is that use the, the pre-programmed um, banner types, the pre-sized types, okay? And let me just make sure I'm telling you guys everything. This works for AdMob and it also works for Unity as well. So the AdMob SDK, for example, if you're not using the Unity plugin, it's fine. If you're just building uh, using the native Android SDK and you've just got the AdMob SDK, then it works fine as well. You should be able to access these AdMob uh, banner types because our development partners, some of them are not using Unity. So I'm gonna find up, uh, sorry, find my sheet here. So this is, um, one of the questions is guys, if it's on iPhone, then it's not a big problem. We know we can check the size on an iPhone. We can say it's an iPad and it's in portrait, therefore show the 728 by 90, it's easy. On Android devices like these, we don't know how big these screens are. So you need to check the physical size is what I did, okay? And I've got a script here and I can post this in the description below and, and please remind me if I don't after doing this video. What this does inside of Unity is it checks the physical size of the screen and then it says at the bottom here, um, this is where I've put create banner and I try to call to show these uh, ads, is I say if the ad banner is, um, is uh, let me see, if the, if the screen is bigger than five inches, uh, for example, like this one here in, in a portrait mode, I think. I don't know, this is in width, uh, width in inches. Then try to show a 468 by 60 uh, banner, probably in the top left here or in the middle. Um, if it's less than uh, less than five inches, then I just show a 320 by 50, okay? But you can add anything in here. You can add, uh, you know, if the width is greater than 10 inches, then show a 728 by 90. Uh, I've not tested a huge amount of these, so... Just FYI, I've only really tested with two AdMob uh, sizes. Inside of the iPhone, what I do is I check the generation of the iPhone, if it's an iPhone 2, 3, 4, uh, sorry, if, if it's an iPad. If it is an iPad, then I show the 728 by 90 because that fits okay. And if it's a smaller one, if it's an iPhone 4 or iPod, then I show the 320 by 50. And I do test this on my devices as well. I have my iPod and my iPad and whatever, so I can test it okay. Uh, if you want any any kind of explanation of this code, guys, uh, let me know. And some of this I don't understand because I actually got this from the Unity forum, but I will post this in the description as well so that any Unity developers out there can follow along. And you know, you can you can get this up and running. I don't know what the code does, but I still use it and, and it works really well. So uh, the points that I wanted to make as well was don't show the ads if they're too big, okay? For example, on a Kindle 7 inch or say an, ad, an Android device, which is a similar size, if we show a 728 by 90, it's gonna be this big and it won't show. I think what the AdMob SDK does is it actually tests the size of the device as well. And then if, if it's off screen, it won't show the ad. So that's what I found. Uh, let me know guys if, if you've had some different experience because I tried to show bigger ads before and it seemed to work, but it looks like in the newer AdMob SDKs that it doesn't work. If it's too big, it won't show. So that's why I tell our developers to only go to a small size, okay? Um, so we said that check the physical size of the device using the script. And uh, yeah, I didn't know this before. I, this was something very new and I only tested this in August and, and the AdMob revenue went a lot higher. So I always do this now. Um, so have a test with one game, guys. Test it on Android or iOS, see which works. And please let me know. I may have missed something. Uh, there may be something that I didn't know or... Uh, it seems that just smart banner ads kind of like flew under the radar for me in terms of revenue and no one ever knew about it. And AdMob never told me, hey, smart banner makes less money. Um, so anyway, give it a try. Um, let me know how it goes and please comment as well. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for all the support. I'm going to get back to the previous comments from the, the video that I did like a, a day or so ago. 
And uh, the other note is as well, I'm, I, if I do reply to a comment, I'm asking everyone to upload uh, just some of my gameplay videos onto your channel. It really, really supports us and it helps me a lot if you just download the video and just upload it to, to, your, um, to your YouTube channel. Uh, it just helps spread the word. So if I ask you a million times and you've already done it, just ignore the message. I'm just copying and pasting to everyone as, as I comment. Uh, but I hope that was useful, guys. So, um, you know, as I say, try not to use the smart banner ads. See if it works. Try to use the 468 by 60 or the 320 by 50 or the 728 by 90 uh, and also test the physical size of the device so that you're not actually losing the... Um, uh, the, ad, the ad from actually appearing because some devices might be smaller but they'll have a higher resolution which is why we need to test the physical size of the device. I hope that was useful. Let me know how it goes guys. Have a great week developing. I'm going to speak to you all soon. Okay, bye-bye.